What's going bros? Welcome back to as an A. Um before I uploaded two videos which was of my phone, which was LG G2 Mini, and I will review about its Cyanogen Mode 13, which runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And so many of you bros requested me to show you how to how did you unlock the bootloader how did you install the custom TWRP or Cyanogen Motor CWM recoveries and how did you install the ROM so there is many questions so I have put an end all of the all of these questions in this video but there is many things to note there's a big disclaimer you have to do all these things at your own risk any change in any of the instructions given to you can break your phone it might be soft brick or it can be hard brick but it might break your phone so do it very carefully at your own risk i'm not responsible for any of the damages which are which is caused to your phone all right so the next uh, the, ne the next thing which i'm going to explain you is all the versions of this g2 mini won't work this method i'm going to show you because to unlock the bootloader you need certain codes for that codes uh, you have to match that specific version of your mobile so uh, the codes i'm going to show you will include d618 version d620 version d620r version uh, i don't think it includes d610 version so that version I, I can't find any code for unlocking the bootloader so that might be a drawback for this um, for this video tutorial for how to install cyanogen mod but don't feel anything you are feel you are free to rate like comment anything whatever you want all the links are in the description below so that being said let's do it first things is first the first and the most important well not important you cannot do anything you can you can't even just think about rooting or cyanogen without rooting your phone so for that you can do it in two steps one you can download the king root app in your mobile and root it right from there or you can download the king or root in your PC and root it through that but the most convenient method is by downloading King root app from uh, Google so I'll be showing you that well like as you can see the step what I did was Google now on tab it's one of the best features of Android marshmallow so after doing this you all of you guys all of you bros can enjoy that app which we have to download to root our device is known as king root app so i'll just uh, king root and search it you have to download the latest version to get the latest updates and all this stuff they'll be showing you this uh this ap dot apk file is harmful for you but don't bros don't look at that because it's an apk extension file so apk is uh, normally harmful for our file it's by it's it's by that so they will show you that these type of files can be harmful for your device so you just say download it anyway as I said you they showed it right it's downloading before that I'll show you bros uh, it's Android marshmallow I love this antigen mod it's customizable T it's everything I'm really loving it as you can see my version is d61 uh, 8 and it's running 6.0.1 marshmallow and they have all changed it well we can play double player we can play single player whatever you want and it's really funny and you have this recent button as i have explained any everything about this in my video 
G2 Mini CyanogenMod Mod 13, 6.0.1, full review. So if you want bros, you can just go there and see it. Alright, now let's install the Skin Root app. Well, uh, my phone is already rooted, so I'm just showing you how to do it, whole tutorial. I won't be actually rooting, it's already rooted. So let me say you have already the root access, or they say the root access is gained. After rooting, if you want to see the root is successful, you can do it in two ways. Anyways, you have you will have to download an app called Rasher or uh, Flashify. That is to flash the recovery and to remove the Android recovery you have that one. So they're asking King Root would like to get root access because my is already rooted. If it's not rooted, they will be just saying begin rooting. So it might be it only takes some kind of one or uh, 15 seconds or one minute. Depends upon the device you're using and the net speed. So they'll sing try it. Well, my is already rooted, so that's not a big deal. Alright. So after that, <clears throat> after it's rooted, as I said, there's two ways to check whether your device root is successful or not. One is by downloading Rasher, and if the root is successful, they'll be asking you the root access. If it's not rooted, they will be showing the device is not rooted. So I'll just show you that. This is Rasher over here. Yeah, now it's as it is rooted, they just open these things. If it is not rooted, they'll show in red color the device is not rooted. So that's it uh, with rooting your device. Now the next one is installing the custom recovery. So to install the custom recovery, you have to download that particular recovery of only your model and your version. If it is something else, your device may break and uh, let's say bye bye to your phone. So that's very risky. So you have to download only the file, only the recovery file, which is meant for you. Or you can just go to Cyanogen Mode website and uh, download the recovery of your model i'll give all the links below the thumbs up button you can access that all right so let's check uh lg g2 mini d618 <coughs> twrp recovery well twrp is very user friendly it's very useful to use rather than that cyanogen mode recovery well i personally did not like that much when compared to this Tamin uh project so I recommend you all to download that um, TWRP which I'm giving the links below. So all the links which I'm using for whatever it is, the purpose for the installation of the custom ROM, I'll be giving all the links below the thumbs up button. So you can access this whatever you want or whichever links you would like to access by yourself or it's the links you have, you can all do that. Just follow my instructions, that's it. Alright, so the first thing we did was routing our device and that's done successfully and I also say to you guys, if you want to check, just download any apps which requires root access and they'll give you a super request uh, to have the request root access so you like to grant it or deny it, that's your wish. So the first thing we have to do is to root it, that's it, now let's come into the installation. We have to unlock our bootloader, so this is the many of you bros have doubt in unlocking because you know bootloader they keeps restrictions for installation of specific things so without uh, unlocking the bootloader we cannot install recovery because this bootloader keeps some barrier for uh, installation of high uh, accessory apps so that's why we are unlocking it so as i mentioned before the code for bootloader is only available for d620 d620r d620 fr d618 it's not available for any other uh, uh any other versions so let's do it as everywhere it's saying do at your own risk i'm also saying do at your own risk. i'm not responsible for any breaking of device because i've seen many breaks uh well not me but it it usually happens all right uh sorry it's not this one for that we have to go and separate other thing just we have to type is the lgg2 mini boot unlocker any other model and we get to a side Let's just retry it's just um yeah as in the first link as i mentioned all the links will be below in the thumbs up button below so you can access them so in this one as i said you these four models it will be there and you got you have a file to download after you download that file copy that into your sd card sd card in the sense it is uh, internal storage if it is ext sd card it is external which is the sd card which we are inserting if you want 
so copy that to your internal storage and we'll have a code given for the specific versions for example here we have d620 version then we have d620r d620fr both are having the same codes the next one we have is d618 so see we have we have uh, four files for four specific um version of mobile so for example if you are having d618 you have to download this one and follow the instruction is given unzip the file copy the extracted file to your sd card sd card in the sense as i said again is your internal storage then yeah uh, i mentioned in the video so the link is again in the description below you have you can see that watch watch the video and understand how to download the terminal how to type you have to type exactly what is this what is there in this in the terminal so it's mentioned in the video so i'm not going back again so after unlocking the bootloader things are getting easier right so the bootloader loader is uninstalled now next one is to install the twrp recovery as i mentioned before twrp is more convenient and more user friendly to use rather than other recoveries well i've used cyanogen mode recovery for a big time something like one day and i was like meh it's not so better than teaming recovery project which is twrp so you can either have your cyanogen mode recovery in uh, the cyanogen mode official website again the link is in the description below so let's get to the TWRP at the first. We have this D618 TWRP recovery link in the website itself. This website has all the links we want, which is needed for our results. Now, you, what you gotta do is you gotta click in this given link, and you'll have three files the CWM recovery, fields recovery, and TWRP recovery. Both, all the three will be IMG files. As you can see, all our IMG files, what you gotta do is you gotta download this and copy to your. Uh, internal storage or uh, SD card whatever you like and what you gotta do is you gotta download the rasher app or the flashify I recommend going with rasher because it's more user-friendly again and I love user-friendly apps much better than the other ones as I mentioned if your device was not rooted they won't uh, show you these things they will just say your device is not having root access so you gotta root your device now I'll just show you the image what I did was I copied and chose a file for example I know it's already I think it's gone so we got to click this and you got to right uh, click recovery and just go for ok your recovery will be uh, your recovery will be installed and if you want you can uh, reboot to recovery and it will take you to recovery if it is success Another little show error some of you bros have been saying me you got error that's because your bootloader was not unlocked as it is unlocked it won't show any error you will be directly directed to your recovery alright so that's with the recovery next is the cyanogen mod roam and um, the google apps well for the ROM, you have two things. It's in the main link over here, or you have it in the official site of um, of the Cyanogen mod. But I recommend you guys to go for here over here. But this only for D six one eight, right? So what you gotta do is you gotta download this one. The last one is CM twelve point one twenty fifteen one one nine unofficial GN two M zip. This one and you have another one which is the gaps which is the google apps i'll just show you that and the next one we have is the google apps but as i mentioned in the cyanogen mod official website you have the same room for g2m i think it's applicable for all the devices all the versions only the room not the recovery and uh, not the bootloader or not uh, anything else so now in the sides they have only the official one is for the marshmallow so for marshmallow if it's 6.0 you have to download the same version gaps which is 6.0 otherwise they will show the wizard has stopped your uh, home screen will be full black you can't do anything you have to boot into recovery and download the uh, rom again or the gaps again and do according to that now this google apps flashable zip is for 5.0.2 which is lollipop version we have this particular zap file as you can see the link is again over here you can download this and rom and copy to your internal storage or your sd card or whatever you wish i I, uh, I recommend you to go to the sd card and i mentioned now what you got to do is you can go to the recovery and uh i'll show you guys that more now i'll show you guys the cyanogen mode website which is available as i said all are available over there cyanogen mode downloads
you have plenty of devices which is applicable for the Cyanogen mod downloads. I really appreciate these guys, you know, it's it's really good. Uh, we got LG over here, right over here. Um, Yeah, we have your G2 Mini, G2M. This version is applicable for all of them, as I mentioned. It is uh, for Cyanogen Mode 13. Either you can download the 12.0, which is only applicable for D618 and D620, or you can find other links. I searched much more. I could not find any. Or you can download this Lollipop uh, Marshmallow version of the Cyanogen Mode, and the Recur is also over here on the side. So you can download these two and copy that to your SD card and the Google Apps, I'll just show you the link below and again all the links are in the description below the link. It's very simple, just type GAPS GAPS um, 6.0 Marshmallow or you can also go to open gaps project and you can download straight from there you can download any package you want mini micro or whatever you want so if you're going for 6.0 uh, marshmallow what you gotta do is you gotta for 6.0 uh, it's ARM same thing and uh, you should go for mini and after that you have download this and copy this and the cyanogen mod ROM to the same file and that's then what we have to do within the websites and now we have to jump into recovery right folks so we did whatever you want to do in the websites nets and download everything and copying that your sd card or internal whatever you want right so let's reboot into recovery now um as a city you can do it either by the rasher app or i more recommend using apps especially for rebooting to recovery bootloader and something else that's quick boot you can get from play store it needs root access so i'll allow it so that's twrp recovery it's pretty cool see it's so user friendly you can understand everything you can in a gif all right so if you're new into cyanogen mode what first you gotta do is you gotta do wipe and go for advanced and click delway data not internal storage data cache system you can do whatever you want but it's not necessary for sd card yeah you had to do sd card and you gotta swipe to wipe and that'll be that'll be for one step before this one and after that you gotta choose the file where your file is Where your file is um, in my it's SD card. Okay, so now you can see, yeah, this is the Cyanogen Mode 12.1. I have it with me. Now you have to zip both together. That will be much better. Then you gotta do add more zips, and you gotta choose the gaps. So this one is the gap for that 5.1.1 Lollipop, which I said you, which is available within the link for the Cyanogen Mode ROM. Or if you're going for the Cyanogen Mode 13, which I gave in the Cyanogen Mode website, you can take this and you can do swipe to confirm flash. And that's it. And you just get a reco uh, you got a reboot. First time if you're doing it, the rebooting may take a bit long. That depends. And after that, you can enjoy your Cyanogen Mode 12 or 13. And if you like. Okay, folks, so that's for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.